You Mexican shouldn't be here. Man allegedly killed neighbor in front of his kids after a birthday party over loud music. Welcome. This is the article we're going to be reading today. Something tragic happened over the weekend here in Texas. So Lonnie Ray, Holcomb, Dallas County Jail. All right. A 54 year old man in Texas was arrested over the weekend for allegedly shooting and killing a 49 year old man over music. Okay, so he shot his neighbor in front of his son and daughter following a fight about the victim and his family playing music too loud after a grandchild's birthday party. Think about it. What would you do? I'm sure I would be pissed. Okay, I'm sure I would. But to shoot someone and kill them on that specific day? No, dude. This, this man is out of control. Y yes, maybe they shouldn't have been playing the music that loud. I get it. But it was somebody's birthday party and it doesn't happen often. Okay? Lonnie Ray Holcomb was taken into custody on Sunday and charged with one count of murder for family shooting. Carlos Gonzalez, court documents revealed. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, Lonnie Ray Holcomb was taken into custody on Sunday and charged with one count of murder for fatally shooting Carlos Gonzalez. There we go. Here we go. According to a, a probable cause affidavit, Gonzalez on Saturday was hosting a large family party. Okay. Can you imagine being there, dude? Can you imagine it being, you know, your family or someone else's family or your neighbor? Where some guy just flew off the handle? Man, come on. Where are we going? This country isn't going anywhere good, y'all. Okay? Doesn't seem like it. Anyways. So this was on Saturday while hosting a large family party at his home. So police said the party continued after the child slept. While the family played music after midnight. As the festives continued... Gonzalez's son returned to the resident in his pickup truck with another man. Police wrote that the pickup truck was also playing music loudly. Holcomb, who lives in the adjacent house, sat on his porch with his son when the pickup truck pulled up in front of Gonzalez's home. Police wrote that Holcomb grabbed his BB gun and fired multiple shots at the pickup truck, hitting it and causing damage. Well, there we are. See, this is what happens, okay? This guy obviously has some issues and he was sitting there boiling over. Then this truck came up and he shot his BB gun. And guess what? That just poked the bear. He knew that those people were drinking alcohol and here we are. Okay, this man ain't stupid. Okay, he knows exactly what he was doing. He was sitting over there studying the people. Okay. So the man with Gonzalez's son was also struck by, the, by at least one of the BB's Holcomb allegedly shot. The shooting took place at about 1.15 a.m. Yep, yep, yep. He was out there stewing, festering. The son and the other man then went to Holcomb's residence to confront him about shooting the BB, the BB gun at them. Of course, who wouldn't, right? During the confrontation, Holcomb allegedly stru struck Gonzalez's son, prompting Gonzalez to leave his home and go to Holcomb's. Related coverage, it says here. A fight then ensued in which Holcomb was being assaulted by multiple people, including Gonzalez. Gonzalez's son and the man who was with Gonzalez. Gonzalez's son, I should say. During the fight, suspect Holcomb was on the ground with Gonzalez on top of him, the affidavit stated. 
Suspects, suspect Holcomb pulled a nine millimeter Taurus handgun, good handgun by the way, out of his pocket and fired it one time. Striking Gonzalez in the chest, got up off of Holcomb and, and the fight stopped, obviously, obviously. You know, uh, sorry to hear that about your family, Mr. Gonzalez, but terrible, that is terrible. Both men then returned to their properties and several people called 911 to report the shooting and request medical assistance. Wow. Gonzalez was transported to Methodist Church Hospital where he died. Holcomb told officers that the BB gun and the handgun were on his front porch and he cons consented to both being seized, the affidavit said. Police transported Holcomb to the station where he waived his rights and agreed to be interviewed by the detectives. During the interview, Holcomb allegedly said that he and Gonzalez had an ongoing issue. Yep. And date back about a year. Yep, yep. According to the affidavit, okay, Holcomb said that the family is often playing loud music, which had been interfering with his life. Wow. These, both of these adults couldn't get their stuff together. That's why it's very important to get yourself in order. What do I mean? Get a hold of yourself. Stop drinking, doing things like that. Okay, getting yourself in trouble. Uh, you know, making wrong choices for you, hanging around with the wrong people, telling other people your plans. Those kind of things. All right. You might want to go to. Let's talk about it with myself on my other channel, and maybe get some hints about what to do if you have a temper. Okay, things like that. Maybe you suffered with abuse, neglect. I have videos over there about that as well. Anyways, let's keep going. Okay, so um, Gonzalez's daughter said that her that her family had feared Holcomb for some time. She also indicated that the race and national origin might have played a role in Holcomb's alleged animosity towards Gonzalez and his family. Okay, he actually told them. You Mexicans shouldn't be here. You Mexicans shouldn't be here. You need to go back to your place. The translator reported, Holcomb is being held in county jail on $250,000 bond. The killing is reminiscent of Jordan Davis, a 17-year-old black high school kid student who was gunned down by a 45-year-old Michael David Dunn. Wow. Unfortunately, this is what's happening to our country. People are just losing their minds. A lot of people are out of control. And maybe you need to find some sanctuary and I hope that you find it, all right? Get right with the Lord, get right with yourself. Choose some good friends because things are gonna get worse. This is Mario with Unapologetic Gentleman at Mario Vega 931. And if you are looking it for me for at Unapologetic Gentleman, you have to write, type in the and Mario Vega to actually find this channel. So with that, I leave you and I hope all that made sense and I will see you in another video.